Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my continuing new face journey. Yes, that's right. I started using this and did a 30 day video and had great results. And then I used it for another few months and then life got busy and I thought, you know, maybe, you know, the changes are subtle. I'm not really sure it's working. So I stopped using it. Well, then imagine my horror when about a month, almost to the day ago, I looked in my rearview mirror and said, oh my goodness, who is that old lady? And I thought, what is going on? What am I doing differently? And I realized that I had stopped using the new face about two months before. And I did a video a month ago showing you my pictures when I was using the new face and then that day when I had stopped using the new face for a few months. And in my opinion, those pictures really showed that I needed to be using the new face. And I told you that I would get back on the new face and then I would show you pictures again. And it has been 28 days since I shot that video. I shot that video October 15th and this is November 13th. So it's about 28 days. And in all fairness, I will tell you, I started using the new face again and I started using my facial flex again because I had stopped this maybe four months ago. You all, life got really, really busy and there's a certain reason that I stopped the new face and that is that I thought it was giving me under lip lines, which it was, but I have since found a way to use this little facial flex without having the under lip lines. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see that video and my other anti-aging videos for those of us over 50, when you click that little bell, you'll just get an email notification of my future videos. Okay, let me get into this and I won't waste a lot of time telling you why I quit the new face about 30 days ago, but I'll put a link to that video below if you'd like to see that. And I'll also put a link to my new face demo on how I use the new face. And first to catch you all up, those of you who didn't see that video, here are those pictures from that last video. On July 21st, I had used the new face for one month and those were my results there, which actually were very good results and I won't go into those. But then you can see after quitting the new face for two months, you can see that basically the overall pallor of my skin is really sallow and gray. I had increasing bags. I had my nasal folds increasing. My lips were really shrinking, as you can tell. My jawline was looking a lot slacker. And just overall, the color from before when I was using the new face, I had a much more rosy, kind of a youthful color to my skin. And then after quitting the new face for a few months, as you can see, my skin just looked kind of gray and kind of old, and I just look kind of sad. And now I'll show you the pictures of after I picked up the new face again and used it for the last about 28 days, I feel like I've had really good results. I am in the studio here. I have the same lights in both the before and after pictures, but I'll show you those pictures and you can judge for yourself. Okay, in the first picture, it shows my results after quitting the new face for two months. And as you can see, I kind of had an overall skin color that was kind of gray and sallow. And on the left side there, that lid is very hooded. And then on the right side, one month after starting the new face again, actually 28 days, that eyelid is much less hooded. The new face seems to be really picking that eyelid up again. And back on the after quitting new face for two months pick, the before picture, you can see my lips were kind of small and misshapen. My bottom lip is almost not there. And then after using the new face again for about a month, my lips became more full and plump and just better in color. They just, just look like younger lips in my opinion. And then on the other side of my face, as you can see, in the before picture, I had a pretty pronounced fat pad on the other eye. It wasn't really hooded, but that fat pad on the inner corner was really coming out there. And then in the after picture, one month after starting the new face again, the fat pad is still there, but it is much smaller. And then in terms of the mouth, as you can see that the mouth overall in the after picture looks plumper and rosier and the lips are more well shaped again, which I was really happy about. And in the before picture, as you can see, the corners of my mouth were just kind of sagging down. That was after not using the new face for a couple of months. And in the after picture, it looks like the corners of my mouth are actually turning up again. I just have an overall more happy look, a little more youthful look. It looks like my skin is rosier. And I feel like there's also a difference overall in my cheeks. In the before picture, my cheeks had gotten kind of flat. They just didn't have a lot of definition. And in the after picture, it looks like the cheek muscles are really more firm and more taut. It just looks like to me, overall, my face just looks a little more woken up, a little more youthful, a little more glowy, just a little better overall. So that was a look at the front of my face. Now let's take a look at the left side of my face in some pictures there. 
In the before picture, when I'd quit the new face for a couple of months, I have flat cheeks, my lips look pretty small there, and my jawline looks just a little bit soft along the jawline. And one month after starting the new face again, it looks like things are starting to tone up. The cheek looks a little more rounded on that side, a little fuller. The lips are definitely fuller, especially that lower lip. And I feel like the jawline may look a little bit firmer too, but you'll have to draw your own conclusions on that. And I just feel that after 28 days of using the new face again, my face is starting to head back in the right direction and things are looking a little bit more toned and firm. Look, now let's take yeah. a look at the right side of my face. And in this case, I'm going to be showing you three pictures. The first picture is last summer when I used the new face for about a month. And as you can see, things are looking pretty tight and toned in that first picture. And in the second picture, after quitting the new face for a few months, I just feel like my cheeks are kind of flatter. They look a little bit flabbier. My jawline doesn't look as firm. And in the last picture, it was about 28 days after I'd restarted the new face. The muscles just look more toned. The cheekbone looks a little better. The lips look better. The jawline looks better. I just feel like this experiment of quitting the new face for a few months and realizing what happened to my skin and then restarting the new face and getting things kind of more tight and toned again has taught me one thing, and that is that I'm going to keep using the new face. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by New Face in any way, shape, or form. I just feel like the New Face is working for me, and I wanted to share that with you. And if you're not a subscriber and love all things anti-aging, like to see what works, what doesn't work, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you an email notification of my future videos. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I'm going to be choosing from Louise Hay's Power Thoughts cards, and I take the cards out as we go, as we use them, so there aren't too many left. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, I love that. I experience love wherever I go. I experience love wherever I go. Love is everywhere, and I am loving and lovable. Loving people fill my life and I find myself easily expressing love to others. Oh, I absolutely love this card because really that is what this life is all about. And in the second half, I've realized that in the first half, I thought life went on and on and on and on and on and on and that I would never get older. Well, here I am. Well, more grown up, shall we say. And I realized that the days are finite, the years are finite. So friends, just for today, let's realize that we experience love wherever we go, because when we say that and affirm that, we look for love in all the right places, and usually it comes home to roost with us. Let's realize that love is everywhere and that we're loving and lovable, and let's be open to letting loving people fill our lives. Take care. See you next time.